Don't tell anyone. Viznik's not supposed to be here. Shh, but I am here. I'll take your word for it. I was part of it. The 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 hive mind inside the gate. I questioned what holds us together. Where? Why? Now, now this exiled from exile. I have been disconnected. Disconnected? Disconnected from what? I don't understand what you're saying. If there is a lack of understanding between my brains, may not always misfire like these. He did this to me. It's what it does. I can't force you, because I'm not like him. Not like who? Who forced you? To... Together. They succumbonize to him. Him, the opportunist. The savior, the rat. When I resisted, I saw, I saw, I saw. It made him fear me. Who are you talking about? Who are the people inside the gate? They are the outcasts, the illegals, the weak and the frightened. We found solace in him, something worth defending. But it was not a choice. If it wasn't a choice, then what was it? The Pied Piper was a rat. His instrument was... was invasive. The others cannot hear it, but I can. The signal. I was too close, and now I'm too far. But you... you will see through him. Let me see if I got this straight. The Pied Piper led you down here. And the Pied Piper is a rat. Exactly. I'm glad we understand each other. Okay, okay. Just remember, you'll only be able to confront him if he knows that you know that he knows. So, obviously, you'll need the name. The name. I'm not supposed to give it away, but I must. I must, I must. And then you must, yes? You're asking me to go beyond that gate, to confront someone. Someone who's harmed you who may be harming others. I'm willing to do that, but I need to know more about what's happening. He casts them close. He brings them away. You must find out how to... to... to uncotangle him from the others. To resist the mentality. They need to be eased out. Figure out what holds them all together. Because it's not his... his personality. When you finally see Richard for who he really is, you realize it cannot possibly be that. Richard, huh? All right. Let's go see what I've agreed to. The Pied Piper is a rat. A rat! Disney could use some help. Stranger, he should not be here. Outside that is not one of us. Do not look at him. He will harm us. He cannot harm us. He will behave himself. We will 
will be made to behave. Richard will know what to do. He will listen to Richard. Richard, protect us, Richard. 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 Come, Come closer. Let Richard. me see you. There's nothing to be scared of. Everyone's worst impulses get checked at the door, yours included. I hope you understand the need for it. We preach pacifism here. Alternatives to terror. Don't want animals dragging in the mud. Who are you? What, what, what is all this? This. This is what the new freedom looks like. A collaborative elaboration of the imaginative experience. Experiments of some kind. We're beyond experiments. We're establishing truths. New models of belonging and community. Ones in which people can actually live. Your own little utopia. There's a man outside who... He asked, he asked me to come. He said you... Man outside. I know what it's like outside. Trapped between acts of humiliation and acts of terror. Between resolutions and registry codes. The canned laughter. The scripted dreams. It's no longer a place for people. I came because it, I thought something was... It... It's wrong. I had reason to believe something's wrong. Everything is wrong. That's why we're here. Bracketing out the terrors. If only in this one tiny corner of the world. Allow me to suggest something. A version of you. A version that strips away all suspicions, free of the sinister cells we cling to along the way. Here, you can be free of the injustices, the suffering, your own animal impulses. Finally, you can be human. Physics said I had to see through you, your attempts at manipulation, to see you for what you do. Some part of you abhors violence. Some part of everyone does. See, I know you better than you know yourself. I know you don't want to hurt anyone. I may not know exactly what's going on here, but I do know that an honest man wouldn't need to hide behind a screen. I know what you're thinking. You can't wait to be the best version of yourself. I don't know for a fact that you're doing anything wrong. That's because I'm not. Unless you count saving these people. We live in a world of brutality, repression, exile. The Restoration Act is the single greatest human rights violation of all time. These people deserve better than that. Most men who claim to be saviors, they... You have a skeptical personality. It's understandable. You're a product of your time. No one's forcing you to stay. You, you want me to leave? What business? I want you to understand. The people who choose to be here, they are good people. And with my help, they have done something miraculous. They have found a better version of themselves, of society. Promise me you won't jeopardize that. I think you're the one who's harming these people. As you can see, I'm not harming anyone. I know you believe me. I didn't come here to jeopardize these people. That's good enough. That's all I need to hear.
You don't belong here. You need to leave. License permit, voucher, document of authority, temporary pass, travel coupon, and or certificate of authenticity. Good old days, we can just ask for ID. Good old days are gone. <laughs> Haven't seen one of these before. Orange level. You are some kind of badass? Just someone with a job to do. And the tools to do it, obviously. Go on through. I've come from one of the apartments, maybe. <laughs> Wonderful. Zleze do řítí a dostane povýšení. I can help you with something. Yes. I'm looking for Laborio. It is me. You have come for the magic? I'm hoping you can help me make sense of something. A strange encounter I had. A man hiding behind a screen in the sewer, surrounded by followers of some kind. His name is Richard. He used to be partners. Richard is alive. You found him? I'm not sure what I found, but I know I didn't like it. Richard had a way of depriving me. 
things I wanted to say and do, but I couldn't. I am so happy he is alive. Richard and I, we... I was sure that he... I should have known. Richard always said, the show must go on. There was nothing entertaining about this. What is he doing down there? How is he doing it? I have not seen Richard in many years. We developed a show together. The evolution of stage hypnosis intensified through technology. Adapted versions of the KC and DDE designs. Social augmentation. In conjunction with modern hypnotic techniques, something much more powerful than mere persuasion. The communal construction of an alternate reality. For three hours on a Friday night, we guided people into brave new worlds. The technology Richard is using to do all this, how does it work? Binaural beats. Richard bounces his source transmission through a series of emitters that use targeted neural oscillation to stimulate specific areas of the basal ganglia. Right. Let's assume I'm not familiar with that particular ganglia. Richard is using a system of emitters that can intensify and adjust his frequency, his message, his intent. Imagine it. He can make the very soul of a transmission pierce into the brainwaves of his target audience. I don't need to imagine it. I already know it's terrifying. These worlds you and Richard created through hypnosis, what were they exactly? They were whatever people wanted. Created together with the audience. Every night was different. After the incident, we... We were made to stop. Treated as criminals. It was not right. People paid for their tickets and embarked on imaginative explorations. We did not hurt anyone. We would never hurt anyone. I'm not sure that's still true for Richard. His audience now... I'm worried they may be trapped. Is that something he could be capable of? Creating a world and keeping people there indefinitely? It depends on the personality. If someone is susceptible to the message, and if Richard keeps repeating it, it is conceivable. Why do you think Richard is doing this? What's his end game in trying to hypnotize people in a sewer? I cannot say for sure, but after the incident, after the way things began to change, Richard said he was going to find a better place. I did not hear from him again. The loss of so many people that we knew, I believe it broke him. He didn't seem very broken to me. More like a guru of some kind, with way too much control of the people in that room. No, Richard is not capable of hurting anyone. At least, he was not before. He was an idealist, the kind of man who... The worlds we created together on stage, they were more beautiful than the reality. Tell me how to stop Richard. Richard is conveying a vision of himself, of themselves, of an alternate community they are building together. If it is Richard's goal to keep the people there, the only way to free them is to make them see through it. Well, how do I do that? Last time I talked to him didn't go so well. The signal he is transmitting, its effect is limited to a specific radius. To the room where the audience is, where the emitters are installed. Wherever Richard is, must be outside of that room. So if I get to him, I'll be able to say or do whatever I want? Yes. But promise you won't hurt him. Please. I'm not promising anything. Something tells me if I do get in there, he's not gonna be content to just talk. There may be a better way. The emitters, they are somewhere in the room, yes? Okay then, so wait. You wait. Just wait one second, please. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where are you? Come. Come to me. Wait. Okay. I think I have what I'm looking for. I think I have found what you need. Ta-da! They are scrambling devices, our failsafe whenever things got ugly. Attach them to the emitters and it closes the ability to amplify. Good night. Show's over. Your gods are but men again. And that'll be enough to make the people in the room see through them? 
I hope. If they have been exposed for a very long time, you need to help them to see. But please be kind to Richard. I don't know what he has become, but I know what he was. A decent man once, who simply believed that the world should be better. We all believe that. But there are better and worse ways of going about it. Nice time for a walk. the room with questions, with doubts. He contributes nothing. He may say nothing. I'm gonna say a few things whether you want me to or not. We got a lot to talk about, Richard, now that we can finally talk. Why have you... What is it that offends you so much about our attempt to construct something better? You mean your attempt to control people, amplifying your hypnotic techniques with some kind of social enhancer? 
keeping people from talking back, from questioning you. I don't think you understand. Please! These... These people want to be here. We need each other. How ugly must the world have looked to you to go to these lengths? To actually believe that this was some kind of alternative? I... We... We chose to start over. To escape what society had become. What it was turning us into. You may not understand, but they do. No, I understand. You sought out people who were vulnerable. People like you, who had reasons to run away. Who do you think they are? There are no missing persons reports. I didn't rip them from warm meals and bamboo linen. For those who wander the sewers at night in search of answers and alternatives, this is as good as it gets. No more hiding, no more running away. No more feeling abandoned. They need me. They need somewhere to feel welcome. And the ones you don't welcome? Those who try to question or resist, like Viznik? Like me? You have no problem rejecting them. Threatening them. Installing gun turrets to ensure they can never pull back the curtain. The guns exist only to protect the ideal. Even the most peaceful communities must be prepared to defend themselves. This isn't a community. It's a magic trick. You've been hypnotizing people, selling them on some fantasy of what you wish the world was like. He... he tricked us? I don't understand. None of it meant anything. Please, don't leave. He can undermine me all he wants, but he can't change what it's like up there. The decommissioning, the segregation. They will round you up and catalog you. They will do worse. People need to be guided. Now more than ever. All these things you're trying to run away from, trying to pretend away, no one should have to face them alone. But this isn't guidance. This is just replacing one totalitarian nightmare with another. I... I went too far. He preyed on us. By a few thousand miles, yeah. And it's time to turn around now, Richard. Time to shut all of this off. I don't understand. How could we be so foolish? Seems foolish. We had no choice. Everything was taken. The way we sang. Had no choice. Why us? Why were we drawn here and not at the time? I don't know. All my life. I believe in what we were trying to do. Richard can no longer persuade anyone of anything. The others are free of him now, just like you are. 
I'm not a model of separation. I questioned him, and then I... I'm not one of them anymore. But I'm not... not one of them. You were right to question him. The fact that you were able to at all when others couldn't says a lot about your strength of character. I... 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 I became I again. Temporary signal failure led them to perceive me as a threat. I started thinking differently. I realized how... how... how there's... there's two eyes in Viznik. That's when I figured it all out. It's a good thing you did. God knows how far this might have gone if Richard had been left unchecked. How many others might have come and been persuaded to stay. We came to him because... because we didn't fit the so... so... social schematic. Hounded by laws. Hated by revolutions. He offered a way out. But there is no way out. Exile from exile is exile. You're out now, Viznik. There should be nothing more drawing you to this place. To him. You can go anywhere you want. You can do anything you want. I want to be... I want to be... I am alone. I want to be... I want to be... I am alone.